Okay, so we're going to start to do the uh, installation with the fixative. Um, we started out with the mouse already with a tracheostomy and a cannula, an 18 gauge cannula inserted it into the trachea. It's tied in tightly and we've added another suture around the trachea which will facilitate removal of the animal after, removal of the lung as after the lungs have been inflated with the um, fixative. So what's going to happen now is we're going to open the thorax um, and you can watch that. We open the thorax to, um, to ensure that the lungs are inflated with fixative. Um, if it's not done, you can do it with the thorax intact, but um, there's occasionally if there's a bubble and the one, one of the lungs doesn't inflate, you can't see that until after you've opened the chest. So this way it allows you to see what's, if the lungs are inflating fully. And because the lungs are collapsed after the animal's been sacrificed, um, the animals were sacrificed with an overdose of anesthetic, the, um, the lungs are collapsed and so it's easier to do the opening the thorax than it would be after the lungs have been inflated fully with the fixative. Okay, so we've moved the mouse over to, um, to be next to a reservoir filled with the fixative. Uh, technically, this should be done or in, in under a hood, but we've taken it out of the hood just for demonstration purposes. Um, the, the fixatives, be they formaldehyde or glutaraldehyde, should be handled in the hood. And, and notice the, um, we just have a ring stand with the fixative and we've measured the height above the mouse to be about 25 centimeters of water with a ruler or 25 centimeters high. Um, the actual magnitude of this doesn't have to be 25, it can be, um, you know, a little bit variation as long as it's the same in all the mice. Okay, so then what we're going to do here is we're going to connect the, um, the stopcock, we're going to let the fixative flow out of the, um, flow out of the stopcock to make sure there are no bubbles. Um, so you can open the stopcock and let it flow out um, under the pressure head of 25 centimeters. All right, and then it's going to be connected to the, to the mouse and it's going to be opened up and you should be able to see the lung inflate under the pressure head. And that's the advantage of doing it this way. You can do it without opening the thorax, but, but sometimes if there's bubbles in there, you won't see the lung inflate. And so we've got the lungs inflating um, under the, the head of pressure of 25 centimeters of water. And we'll let this stay for at least five minutes. Um, the actual time is somewhat variable, but it should be consistent in, your, in, the, in all the experiments. It could be as long as 15, or some people have even left it overnight under pressure using a manifold system but it, it should be done for at least five min minutes to ensure adequate filling of all regions of the lung. Okay, so, um, so after five minutes or whatever length of time you want under pressure, now you turn the stopcock off. Okay, and, and now we're gonna take the needle, the stub needle out of the trachea, and to do this easily, uh, one can, with a forceps, grab the, um, grab the trachea around where the needle is and by pulling the needle out um, you know you can then immediately grab and clamp the trachea um, and so now the lung is sealed and now we can take the tie that was already placed around the trachea and we can tie that off and then remove the needle Okay, now we're going to excise the lung and heart and lung from the thorax.
it's easiest to, to pull on the trachea gently and lift the whole lung heart complex up so you can cut underneath it and cut the connective tissues that are holding it in place. When you get down to the diaphragm, you need to cut the aorta and the um, esophagus and inferior vena cava. And then we're left with the heart, the lungs, and the esophagus. Now we need to dissect off the, the heart. It's generally, um, the heart could be taken off in the thorax, but there's generally more blood, so it's easier to um, do it after you've removed the, everything from the thorax. And then we can go on the other side, do some more trimming to get rid of the you know, other aspects, the esophagus that's stuck to the trachea. Okay, so we have fixative in a, in a little um, centrifuge vial here of, of appropriate size, and it's filled with the fixative. And so now we're going to take the lung and just put it into the, into the little beaker and hang it down a little bit and use the tie to hold it in place. And this will help because we're going to turn it upside down and the lung is going to want to float because there's air in there. So we turn it upside down. You can see that the lung is, remains um, floating and under the fixative. And one must leave this in, under the fixative generally overnight or longer. You can leave it really for much longer than overnight. But one wants to make sure that the entire lung gets fixed.